Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want you to sit for a moment and ponder the reality of what you see. You've been in the room all day long, dear ones who are here in the chairs. And you've had a chance to discern energy. Energy is what is true, what is not. What are the potential possibilities as they apply to you? Can you relate these things to you? And if you can, would it then change anything you might do? And the answer to all of these things will be individual. Those listening to this later, I say to you that you're absolutely unique in the universe. And what makes you unique is the consciousness, what you've gone through, who you are. Some of you have had life experiences in this lifetime that shape how you think while you're listening to this channel. And some of you have had instead experiences of what I would call the Akashic kind. The past lives that put together a consciousness that you have now that, that reacts to it, that remembers things. Or maybe not remember anything, but you have fears that you carry. Or things that you will or won't do. And it's a mystery to you. And so you are all absolutely unique. And yet in this uniqueness, there is a similarity for all humans. And the similarity is that there are certain kinds of energies that will apply to all of you. What you do with them will be unique. But the energies are for all of you. I want to talk about some of these, these new tools. The channeling today is not filled with brand new concepts, but the summaries of things that we have spoken of in the last year or so, and perhaps in a different way, but put together to build a picture perhaps we really haven't built. This is the way the channeling goes, for it, it totally is, is teaching. And whether you are here for the first time or whether you've been listening for a long time, these things must make sense. Things will start to fall together, connecting the dots where you will see a bigger picture, perhaps that is arising for you, for the planet, of what is really going on. We have told you what is going on. And for the past years, we have, we have asked you to please suspend what you've been told and perhaps tune into something that you don't know about yet but being open to the change the change is everywhere but it's going to start to affect the oldest souls first now let's talk about that it affects old souls first because the old souls are wiser They've simply been here longer. So the old soul is not privileged. They just had more experience. And the experience that an old soul has is quite often that which is including spirituality. Not only do you know how things work on the planet, but you have come to spiritual decisions lifetimes ago. And you wake up in this lifetime and you still have them. If I haven't told you before, there's one or two things that pass through this veil from lifetime to lifetime that you do inherit. Whereas you may not remember anything else, there are some things that pass through. 
the countenance you have, for instance, of who you are and what you've learned spiritually comes right through. You never sink to a lower level spiritually in order to learn something. Now listen, you have to know that. You spent plenty of time learning things in order to get to the place you are now. You don't have to start over, not really. Spiritually, you will remember your shamanship. Now you may not act on it, and we've told you this before, because this planet is filled with old souls who don't simply want to come out. And that's because the last time they did it was uncomfortable. So they'll sit there and be normal, but they know better. <laughs> Some of them sit here. Some of them are listening to me right now. I know who you are. It is celebrated what you do. It is celebrated. You don't have to awaken and write a book or go to meetings or any of these things. Just your very presence on this planet as a wise person changes the crystalline grid. There is so much here that is energy based, not action based. And so you are welcomed in any shape, in any form to enjoy yourself in any way on this planet without claiming that you are metaphysical or talking to anyone about what you believe. Your very presence is here. Oh, we told you that before. That passes through the veil. You never go backwards spiritually. Therefore, again, it's the old soul who are going to see and use these tools first. But even the old soul doesn't know what they are because some of them come way before anything you would feel, see, recognize, or intuit. And I want to review that with you. When I'm done with this message, I hope you get the feeling that I want to transmit. You are known by God. There is preparation for all that you're experiencing. The idea that you would pass through 2012 and the year 2000, although it was a potential, it wasn't a reality until you did, and yet there was preparation by spirit. If you pass this marker and you did, everything would have to change. And you're seeing it in systems, you're seeing it in weather, you're seeing it in consciousness, just as we said. But things don't simply change on their own. There has to be tools, there has to be helps. And I want to remind you of what has happened. I want to remind you how much you're loved. You are not doing this by yourself. You're not doing this by yourself. Number one, when this planet was seeded with the knowledge of light and dark, your creation story, there were things set up for today. It wasn't that long ago. In the scheme of galactic time, it was just a flash of an eye ago, 200,000 years. When the seeding began of this planet, the creation story of light and dark, when your DNA started to change when you got 23 chromosomes instead of 24. I told you that those who seeded you set up a system of 24 nodes and nulls. And they have now been identified for you. And you can look them up. I've told you where they are. And they're in places you didn't expect. And when they start working together, they start to send signals to the crystalline grid. And they start to enhance knowledge on the planet. Give you inventions that you need. All with the idea that if you made it, all of these things would start to churn and give you that which you need to go to the next step. You're not doing this alone. 
It's esoteric. Can't be proven. Does it really need to be? Or is there a multi-dimensional validation engine in every single one of you that can say, yes, I feel it. Yes, I know it's true. It makes sense. Mother and father, let me ask you something. Would you set up a time capsule for your children if you could? That says open only when you're 40. And when the children open it up, there's a treasure for them. Not just monetary. Their pictures they never saw, their messages from you. Videos of congratulations, of love. Would you have liked that when you were 40? from your mom and your dad or others who you'd love would you do that do you think that that would be viable you say well, it was not viable but yeah in a, in a non-reality world I'd love to do that because the chances are you might be gone by then maybe it's when they're 50 it's something it's something you leave that they can use and it's going to enhance their life why is this so difficult for you to think that the Pleiadians would have simply put you here and left. These are the time capsules that are opening at the right time. And they are flooding the crystalline grid with potentials, realities that you haven't seen yet, inventions that you haven't not pulled out of them yet, but they're coming, they're here. You need them to move to the next step. You might say, well, why haven't they been given to us before? We needed them before. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because in an old energy, you would have weaponized all of them. That's why. In a new energy, you won't. You won't. You'll use them for health and well-being. And other things that you can't even fathom yet. Communications to beings you don't know exist. How about that one? All of this is in the plan over, over time. But it had to be put here as a time capsule. That's just number one. You're not doing this alone. Number two, and so many of you don't remember this, don't understand this. But if you start to ask astronomers, they'll start telling you about something that is different with your solar system than it ever has been since humanity got here. You're moving into a new kind of space. As your solar system goes around the center of the galaxy, it goes into places it's never been before while humans were alive. And the place it's moving into now is different. You see, it's going to affect your sun. You've had a bubble of protection that is physics around this solar system for eons that is now passing away and being replaced by a whole other kind of energy. This is not esoteric. This is physics. It's physical. It's happening. And it's going to affect your son first. Have you seen any differences in your son? Ask astronomers. Is the radiant cycle on schedule? Have you seen some differences in activity? Not necessarily more activeness, but less. Have you seen anything? And if the answer is yes, I want you to remember this channel. Because your son is being affected. Now the son has a magnetic field called heliosphere. It intersects your magnetic field. And your magnetic field is the couch you sit in that affects your consciousness. Look at the experiments between magnetics and consciousness about the strength of the magnetic field and the, the consciousness of humanity. It's, it's, it has been established, dear one, so what affects your son is going to affect you. And how is it going to affect you? I'll tell you. It's going to enable parts of your biology that have not been enabled before. 
you got help and that's all of you not just the old souls but the old souls are gonna pick it up first well crying what are you talking about what are we gonna pick up <laughs> how about you vibrate a little higher how about you think a little differently how about you evolve while you're still alive instead of having to go into a death life cycle two or three times to get it this is a fast track to a higher consciousness of this planet it was always there we're crying well, what what if we hadn't have made it what would happen I'll tell you you would have gone there anyway there just wouldn't have been humans here it was always there it was always prepared for you question today who prepared it you did you did before you ever got here as human beings you set the stage for all of this if you would make it past a certain point you wanted to help yourselves how does this feel to you would you leave a time capsule for yourselves the answer is oh yeah would you leave a capsule for your next life if you could that said open as soon as possible I got news for you don't do this <laughs> well you're gonna do that right now that's part of the new tools it's part of the new consciousness it's part of the time capsules it's part of the new space you're moving into do you see what I'm saying you're not doing this alone the new tools of the shift I haven't even got to what you can do I'm just telling you about the preparation how does it feel to know that all of this has been prepared so that when you got here you'd have a much better chance than you ever thought not too long ago number three we talked about physics with an attitude <laughs> we talked about something that doesn't make sense but physicists see it all the time that there's a portion of physics that you live in every day that is starting to awaken which I will call benevolent reality science is starting to see things they don't truly understand which is physics that literally creates harmony and it's starting to occur it has names I told you this a few weeks ago entrainment entanglement call it what you wish it's a physics that wants to create things that work in synchronous mesh harmony now you might say well that doesn't sound like it's a neutral who said it who said it had to be neutral I want to ask you a question you're the creator and you could do anything would you be tempted to create something that would help if you pass the marker <laughs> would you love your children enough to leave them something that would help them later if they could grasp it something would come alive later if they would get to a certain age that they needed a legacy from you to them welcome to the new earth the legacy has been planted a physics that's benevolent that wants harmony you know how I can prove this to you because things are changing so much that when you shove harmony at them they rebel energies that don't want to harmonize are gonna get crazy to use my partner's term I want to tell you something you should know American old souls are going to have a tendency not to vote in this election because you're going to see old energy on both sides and you're going to look at it and you're going to say neither one really is what we want cry on where's the new energy this is old stuff they're fighting they're angry they're calling each other's names you take a look at their meetings all they do is shout and get angry and red-faced 
Welcome to the new earth. I want to tell you, this is a reaction against harmony. They're not going there, are they? In fact, anytime you see the opposite, and you're seeing it, it's a reaction to the light that is starting to be spread. A light that is going to make politics someday transparent, and they're not ready for that. Not yet. And so the reaction is anger, frustration. Old soul, you have a tendency to sit above it and say, I'm not going to vote because I don't want any old energy. So I'm going to give you advice. We need you to vote. What we want to do is to tell you this. We want you to look at both candidates and vote for the one that would be, in your opinion, the most transformative. That's the one. Now, dear ones, it's important that you vote. Because if you simply say, I don't like what's happening, you won't be able to vote for what's transformational. And you have this privilege and this right. The next time around, it's going to be different. And the time after that, it's going to be startling. These are potentials not fortune telling the ripples of what is coming are being felt and I say it again that there is precedent on other planets that have gone through this and you're right on schedule because what is happening here happened there it's about light and dark it's about energy reacting to energy and what happens and how it happens Benevolent physics. That was number three. <clears throat> number four, we have talked about this. And that is how spirit starts to work with you in a different way with certain kinds of consciousness triggers that you present. Premise. Even physics has changed. Premise, the capsules are working with a crystalline grid. The ground is ready for the seeds to be planted. We saw you coming. So here you are. So the tools start to appear. Human, there is a different scenario today of cause and effect when it comes to pure intent, affirmations, all of these energetic things that you have decided work a certain way are starting to shift. I'll say it again. The timing of things is so different today. What didn't work yesterday may work today. What didn't work today may work tomorrow. Do not resign yourself because something didn't work. That is extremely human. When you say, been there, done that, never going to do it again, you have decided that there's only one chance, and that's it. That is part of the singularity, the bias that we have told you before that humanity has. Everything is one. especially if it's spiritual. I want you to feel and intuit when the right time is to do it again. And with this, you are going to get help. And there are those who said, well, I've tried that in the past. I, my intuition isn't any good. <laughs> that was then. This is now. If you're listening, everything is shifted. It's like you were, you were taking swimming lessons in the desert. <laughs> Today you got water, metaphorically. So you're learning to swim where, in the, where you should. And there's results. And there wasn't before. Way ahead of your time. Or the energy wasn't right. Or the darkness was too great. And all of that has changed today. So this is a real tool. Things are different. And the reaction to what you do is different.
healer, are you listening to me? It's going to be different for you. There are things coming that you will develop yourselves. Reader, are you listening to me? What do you think that these new tool attributes are going to do for you? There's a period of readjustment for all workers who are dealing with multidimensional abilities. The human is a regular multidimensional creature who has only used 3D for eons. What you have in you is multidimensionality. What you didn't realize is that it was there. Now you have something happening with the physics, the new part of the universe, all of these things, the part of the galaxy you're in that is that has made the ground softer for you than to plant the seeds of healing, of psychic ability. And the period of readjustment may have been tough for some of you because you went through changes or you stopped entirely and now it starts to come back. Don't drop it. Healer, reader. Are you listening? Don't drop it. Now you start up again, only it's coming back tenfold. Now I'll say it again. If you're going to put the toe in the water and you're going to expect that it's going to be too cold or too hot, it will be. Have you got that? One who creates their own reality will then create their own reality. <laughs> Put your toe in the water. Check it out. It's too cold. Don't go in. I guarantee it. Or just go on in and change the temperature of the water to your liking. What about that one? Don't put your toe in the water anymore. I want you to understand it's your time. And someone here has, I'm talking right to them. These are the new tools. A change in your consciousness of how to proceed, where to act, what you think your intuitive ability is instead of what it used to be. Don't even consider anything that used to be biology. Are you listening? Whatever it is you have going on with your biology right now, whether it's whether it's something that's going to save your life or it's something that's going to make you live longer. Whatever it is you have that you're struggling with, I want to tell you something. The new paradigm demands that you wipe away your bias. You, can, you can't go from A to B when you've got something in the, in the way. And that something is the bias you carry that says you can't do it, or you shouldn't, or, a, or you did it before and it didn't work, or a friend couldn't do it. How about that? So everything you've decided in advance is based upon a past and the old energy. <laughs> you see what's wrong with this picture? Putting your toe in the water. You're expecting certain things. This is a new energy. You wipe away what you think you couldn't do before completely. And you simply do it. If you have an imbalance in your body in any way right now, <laughs> I'm talking to almost everybody, <laughs> my partner included. <laughs> he reacts. <laughs> if there's anything here that isn't right, biological, consciously that you know there's a block something that would give you anxiety something that would not let you go past a certain thing if there's anything why don't we just join right now and clear it there's an entourage here I don't care if you're listening later this entourage is multi-dimensional there's no time you sit in the chair listening later you think you're alone we're all together with you can you feel us here we don't know your face they don't know I do how about right now we're all together. Do you believe consciousness has energy? We're all together. 
Why don't we join in the, the, the strands of energy that connect humanity to humanity? The past, the present, the future, all of it connected. And right now, visualize together what it is that you're going to be. Not that you want, that you're going to be. Free of the unbalanced, free of the disease. Right now, together, we do it. There is so much power in togetherness. Can you see it for your neighbor? Can you join your neighbor? What, which one of you would deny anyone else in this room something beautiful? And the answer is none of you. You're compassionate. None of you. So use that philosophy in a multidimensional way. And right now, we're all one. And we're all curing each other. We're all healing each other. We're all part of changing the balance. And you'll remember this day if you can feel this happening right now. Right now, together. Do it with me. Dear Spirit, I am part of the creative source. And everything here that isn't perfect is temporary. Dear Spirit, for my neighbor and my friend who is also joining with me right now at any time, I see perfection like me. Dear Spirit, they see perfection in me. Dear Spirit, together, together as old souls on this planet and whoever is listening at whatever time, we heal one another in love. Can you feel it happening? The healing can be consciousness, anxiety. It can be any kind of chemical imbalance you may think you have. It could even be Akashic. You're so individual. It's the first time we ever did this. That's a new tool. The energy of this planet is ready for you. You're not doing this alone because right now as you envision these strands healing one another, connected with each other, I'll tell you the earth has been waiting for this. You're in an energy right now that's going to promote it and this consciousness has energy more than you ever thought. It's not like it used to be. Welcome to the new earth. There'll be more. Much more. And so it is. <laughs>